Here, we're gonna go through all the tools you have in Apple Classroom. When you first open the app, you're gonna have a screen that looks like this that's going to have your courses or classes across it. You're gonna find the class that you want to start and click into it. When you open it up, you'll see an array of students screens across here that will look similar to this. This is the little thumbnail that shows. It is live, so if you can see real faintly there, it is moving as I, on the student device, flip through the app screens. If I start up here at the top, this little piece of cake allows me to lock students into a specific app. So I have my list of apps here. If I want to lock them in so they can't get out, I must first come down here to the bottom to lock in app after opening. I have to turn that on first and then select the app that I want. This will send all of my students to the same app and it will lock them in to that app once they're done. So this student is now on Epic. That's what the, the cake does. If I want to unlock my students, I come over here to the uh, padlock and click unlock. It'll take just a second. It'll unlock all of the students and they are free to do whatever they wanna do on their iPad. The next symbol over is the little compass that looks like Safari. This allows me to send all of my students to Safari and send them to a specific website. When I click on that, I'm presented with options. I'm gonna to go to Safari. The thing to note here is that to do this, the teacher must have the website saved in their favorites. So over in Safari, if I have a website, just like this, the discovery website that I wanna send my students to, before I can do it, I must go to this website myself go to the Shero and add it to my favorites. Now, once that's saved and I switch back to Apple Classroom, I'll probably have to go out and come back in, go to Safari, favorites, and there's discovery. I can send them to the discovery website. You can see back there on my little thumbnail of my student, it's happening. Students will be able to get out of it then, but you've just sent them to it. The next one that we're gonna talk about is this four square array here. What this is, is switches how you view students' uh, little thumbnails. When it's a perfect square like that, I see all of their thumbnails. When I switch it, it shows me their initials and a little icon of what app they are in. So I know this student is in Safari. The same happens over here in the app section. If I had more students, I'd see all the list of apps my different students were in. Right now I have one student in the Safari app. If I had two or three, you'd see two or three. If I had students using different apps, you'd see the list of apps and how many students are in it. This eyeball with a slash through it, you will not use in Apple Classroom. You'll use a feature like this, which is the hide, fe the hide apps feature in Jamf Teacher. So ignore that one over here. We already slightly talked about this one, but this padlock allows you to lock students down completely. So when I click on the, this, the padlock, it locks all the students down. The students, it'll show a padlock just similar to this on their screen. They can't do anything while you have it locked down. Once you're done with them being locked down, click it again to unlock all devices. And now they'll go back to being able to view what they need to do. The speaker with the line through it does just that. It mutes all of my devices. All student devices have just been muted. Now students will have the power to turn them back up immediately, but you will have a brief second at least before they figure that out, that their devices have been muted. I'm gonna skip this one for just a second and come back because I wanna talk about this one. The select would allow me to click that and then I can mark specific students to send one of these commands to. And I can do this on the fly. So if I notice a group of kids who aren't doing the right thing and I have three of them, I can hit select, select those three students quickly and lock them all down or send them all to one app using the, the cake piece there. So that's a nice way to just select multiple students at once to send a command to. Finally, when I'm done with class, this is a special, especially for 7 through 12 and probably CIS, I need to end this class. To do that, I click these three dots and click End Class. This will give me a short little summary of what happened. I had two apps in use by students. These are the two. This is the one student I had active during this time, so I kind of have that. I just click Done, 
and I'm back to picking my class. Again, seven through 12 teachers, you're gonna wanna do this at the end of each class so that your restriction's clear and the next class coming in uh, to your class is ready to go. Apple Classroom is proximity-based, meaning if you do forget it here, uh, once they get so far away from you, it'll unlock anyways. So that's a quick overview of the tools within Apple Classroom.